Hey, so this is my nighttime skincare routine. Hopefully this helps someone out, but um, this is just the stuff that I use like for my skincare. Um, it's not a lot of products, so I'll show each product that I use um, like before I use it. So first I like to moisturize my lips. I'm just using this lip oil from LA Colors. Yes, I'm just using a lip oil just to moisturize my face because my face feels dry right now. Um, I kind of like pre-wash my face before I got on camera. Um, but that's just because I had makeup on and I just used a makeup wipe to take it off. But I still have makeup on my face. So to wash my face, well to cleanse my face, um, I use this African black shape. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying shea butter. <laughs> But this is just regular African black soap. This is not like the original black soap that was in here. This is just like a bar black soap. I just put it into the container. But um, yeah, it was just like a bar of black soaps. So I just used a small amount. Like this much. On my finger. So I just use this much. This is like actually too much because it lathers up pretty good. So I'm just going to um, lather this up um, and wash my face, cleanse my face with the black soap. Oh, also I wash my hands first before I wash my face. So that's a tip too. Okay, so now that I have like a really good lather with the black soap, I'm just going to massage it and just cleanse my face for 60 seconds, which is a whole minute. So I'm just gonna um, just go over each area. I'm trying not to mess up my edges. I had a scarf on, but it just, I didn't wanna be on IGTV with a scarf on my head, so yeah. So I'm just gonna cleanse my face for 60 seconds. So I know some people say that African black soap is like too harsh or it like burns their skin. Um, honestly, like when I first started using it, it kind of, like, I thought the same thing, but I feel like it just kind of like renews your skin. Like, um, cause it acts as like an exfoliator too. And you have to make sure you moisturize your face like really good. Um, so I use the vitamin E oil, but, um, I also use shea butter too. I'll show you the shea butter that I use. Um. But yeah, my skin did the same thing. But it's not like it's burning your skin. It's just like an exfoli it exfoliates your skin too. So it's like your skin goes through like a transformation <laughs> when using the African black soap. So I make sure I get into my eyebrows too. And I try not to get it into my eye because if you get African black soap into your eye, it burns. So yeah, um, try not to get into your eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off my face and come back on camera. Okay, so I just rinsed the black soap off. So um, I was trying not to get into my eye, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna dry off my face with a paper towel. Now, realistically, like, you know, People don't use paper towels to um, dry their face off like every day. But today I'm just gonna use a paper towel. Usually I just use a towel, like a regular bath towel, but um, sometimes the bath towel like has like a lot of bacteria on it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna use a paper towel to dry off my face. So I still have like makeup on my skin. Um, sometimes I go, like sometimes I um, wash my face two times with the black soap, but I don't do it. Like the second time I wash my face, I don't do it for like a whole minute because that's too much. But um, for today, I'm just gonna wash it one time. I use witch hazel to help get like the remaining um, makeup off. Like the makeup that's still like on my face. It's not a lot, but it's just like 
um, you know, like around my hairline or whatever. And this witch hazel, um, it helps for like blemishes too. But um, if you have like oily skin, that's pretty good. Like it's good for um, like you can put it on your problem areas. Like if you're oily, like on your nose or like your chin or something, and this helps with that. But I can tell a big difference. Like I have to use this every time I wash my face, but I can tell a difference like in the texture of my skin too from um, using this. So I just put the witch hazel on a little cotton round. So yeah, I just use these little cotton rounds. You can get them from the Dollar Tree. But I use like three or four of these. I know it's a lot, but um, yeah. So I just make sure the makeup is like all the way off. <laughs> So yeah, first I like to go in like near my hairline to make sure all of the makeup is off. And you can see that it's like makeup on there. I kind of got makeup like on my hair right here, but um, that's okay. So I use, so basically I just use one just to go around my hairline. So this I'm just gonna go around my face. Um, I like to go in between my nose, like the crease, cause it might be makeup still up in there and like around my nose. So I got majority of the makeup off. Well, I got mo um, all of the makeup off of my face. It was just my hairline because I was trying not to mess up my edges. And I get like near my ear. I try not to put like makeup all the way over there, but somehow it still gets right there. So I just wipe that off. And I get like underneath my nose too. Okay, so next to moisturize my face, um, I use, sometimes I use like a mixture of this vitamin E oil. This is um, Spa Naturals Vitamin E Oil. Yeah, so this is just um, regular vitamin E oil that I use. Sometimes I use this, but um, sometimes like when I wake up in the morning, my skin is like still dry, like it's not enough moisture. So I use, sometimes I use this um, African Shea Butter. And this is like the really soft kind. It's like really easy to, um, that melts like in your hands. So sometimes I use that too, or like a mixture of both of them. And I just rub it on my skin. Okay, so I actually missed a step. <laughs> so, I'm going to take another makeup wipe. And I'm just going to make sure I have, like, makeup away from my eyes. Like, my eyelashes. Like, the mascara. And just make sure... Um... That that's all out and like the um eyelash glue is off of my eyelid.
Okay, so after I do that, I usually just go in with the moisturizer. So today I'm just going to put on the vitamin E oil and the shea butter. Um, sometimes I just put the shea butter on just like for extra moisture. So yeah, I just put the um, shea butter on. I kind of put on a lot, so my face might be like kind of shiny. But um, it doesn't like break out my skin either. But depending on your skin type, um, I wouldn't put as much on. But for me, I have like combination skin, so it doesn't bother me. But I just use like extra moisture. Um, yeah, extra moisturizer because I use the African black soap. So it's like that can be like really dry and plus it acts as like an exfoliator too. So yeah, that's basically all I do. Um, then I just like moisturize my lips again. Um, I use this um, hydrating lip oil from Ruby Kisses. It's like a um, treatment gloss. It's like a lip gloss, but it's like a treatment too. Um, it has like a peppermint um, smell to it too. So sometimes I use this after I'm done just to moisturize my lips. Yeah, and that's basically it. Um, I don't use anything else. I don't use like regular um, skin moisturizers. Um, I try to just use like all natural stuff like the vitamin E oil and the um, shea butter. So that's really been helping for my skin. Um, depending on your skin skin type, you can just do some research to see like exactly what you need. But this is like what works for me. I have like combination skin. So yeah, that this actually works for me. So I'll leave like everything that I use like in the description or the caption below. Okay, so hopefully this video helps someone out. Um, leave a comment below um, if it helped you out or if you found like a little tip from it.